Today, we're going to be looking at the Olight Javelot. Now, the Olight Javelot is the newest addition to Olight's Javelot lineup, which is their thrower uh, series. Now, the Olight Javelot has a max lumen output of 1350 lumens and a max throw distance of 730 meters. The Olight Javelot has five total light levels and it has two light modes, which is like a daily mode or a regular mode and a tactical mode. So let's go ahead and open her up and I'll show you the light itself. Comes with this card to just letting you know to remove the battery seal. So as you can see, the light comes in the holster itself. It also comes with a clip as well as a charging cable. Right. And below, you can see the manual uh, below. So onto the light itself. Um, now the light, very similar to the Javelot Mini. Uh, the light comes with a uh, slide-in holster like this. Um, I will say that one of the disadvantages of having a slide-in holster like this is that with this particular model that has a side switch, um, if the side switch isn't completely lined up with this opening, it won't go in all the way. See, it won't go in, it won't go in all the way. So I have to line it up with the the opening to get it to go in all the way, which is kind of annoying if it's on your belt and you're trying to. Uh, put it away without looking at it, so it, it, it can be kind of annoying that way. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the battery seal. Okay. Now this takes a standard uh, 21700 battery. Well, it's not standard, it's Olight's proprietary battery that has the, the positive and the negative both on the head. I'm going to give you good look inside there. There is a spring inside to assist with drop protection. Let me go ahead and put the tail cap back on. Now this tail cap appears to be um, compatible with uh, remote pressure switches which is what this flange is here for here. Out of the box it's going to be in regular mode so a half press on the tail switch will give you low, which is 15 lumens, while the full press will give you turbo, which is the 1350 lumen max output. This light has five light levels plus a strobe, and all five light levels and the strobe can be accessed via the side switch, but only three of the light levels and the strobe can be accessed via the tail switch. Now, just to run through all the modes, uh, we can use the side switch to get to all five light levels as well as the strobe. <clears throat> so to start us off, uh, pressing and holding the side switch will always get you into the moonlight mode which is half a lumen and then pressing and holding again will get you to low mode which is equivalent to the half press in daily mode of the, of the tail switch now bumping it up one more time is going to be the medium which is 150 lumens so that's going to that's equivalent to uh, the half press in tactical mode and then bumping in it one more time is high, which is 650 lumens. And then to get to turbo, you have to you have to double click on it. So double click, and this is turbo, the 1350 lumen output. Now to get to strobe, you have to triple click on the side switch. So this is the strobe, and then. Um, yeah, so that this is exactly how all five uh, light levels and the strobe can be accessed via the side switch. 
Now to lock out the light, you're going to hold, press and hold. It's going to go on to the moonlight mode and then it will turn off if you continue to hold it. So, so now it's completely locked out. Even the tail switch cannot do anything. Now to unlock it, you're just going to hold, press and hold the side switch again and then you'll get into your moonlight mode and then you can turn it turn it on turn it off and then the the uh, tail switch will work again as well in regular mode you can access the low and the turbo in tactical mode you can access the medium and the strobe now this side switch uh, much like many of their other models has a uh, light in the center of it that will indicate the battery status or the battery level. So I did show you the regular mode. I'm going to go ahead and, and switch this to the tactical mode. And to do that, you full press on the tail switch and then you tap the side switch. So full press and then a tap. And then now it's in tactical mode. So now when I half press, instead of getting me 15 lumens, it's going to be 150 lumens. So this is the high, or sorry, the medium. This is medium, and then a full press will give me the strobe. So this is a strobe. Now, what I really like about the tactical mode is that it, it's truly momentary, meaning if I just tap, if I just tap the, the, the tail switch, it'll just blink. It'll just go on and off, which with their other models, it's not really possible to do that because if you just tap it it'll it'll go into constant on so I, I, re I really like that about uh, about this new Javelot something that I I haven't really seen in any of the other OLED models now it does come with a reversible clip that you can either place on this end here and the, or if you want uh, to do more of a deep carry you can place it on this end, which will come right up to this ledge here, and then you'll just have a little bit of it sticking out of your pocket if that's what you want to do. Now, comparing it with the Javelot Mini, the J this is the Javelot Mini, and it's it's not much smaller than the Javelot itself, yet the Javelot is able to hold uh, over twice the battery capacity as the Javelot Mini. And looking at the um, the thickness of the bodies, it's generally the same, but the mini is actually appears to be actually a little bit thicker on the base. But as far as the head, as far as the head shape and the head size, they look to be identical, which tells me that the extra throw that the Javelot has over the Mini is comes from the, the extra lumen output. Or, that's what it says to me. Alright, well, I'm going to go throw this on the charger and take it outside to show you what it can do. Alright guys, so I'm out here with the Olight Javelot. Uh, just for some context, this tree over here is about 20 yards out. Uh, this tree in the center is going to be about 50 yards out and that tree in the center down there is going to be about 130 yards out so first off this is the moonlight mode this is half a lumen this really doesn't even make it out to the first tree all right bumping it up one level this is going to be 15 lumens uh, makes it a little bit out to the first tree but definitely not really to the second One more level, this is going to be 150 lumens. Makes it out to the first tree just fine. I can see it a little bit on the second tree as well. Uh, not so much on the third tree. Bumping it up, it up one more time to 650 lumens. 20 yard tree. 50 yard tree. 130 yard tree.
Now to get to turbo, I'm gonna go ahead and double click. So this is turbo, this is the 1350 lumens, 20 yard tree, 50 yard tree, 130 yard tree. I'm just gonna go ahead and shine this thing around a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the strobe function for you. This is the strobe at the 20 yard tree, 50 yard tree, and the 130 yard tree. I'm just going to shine this around a little bit. Yep, and there you have it. This is the Olight Javelot. If you like this kind of content, Give me a follow, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.